my sis my twin sister she had my nephew you know in lunch pad and I didn't know what lunch pad was about nothing and then my sister asked me Alma can you come with me let's go pick up Louis and I was like where is him he's not in school no he's an after school program and I'm like where and she's like look come here let's go so she came here and she came to lunch pad I'm like I go in, you know, and I start looking around and I see kids going all everywhere, you know, jumping, laughing, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then my daughter saw it and she was like, mom, I want to be here. I'm like, no, no, you're too little. You're not supposed to be here. And then I asked information. I told my sister, but who do I ask for information? Can Lisbeth come to the program too? You know, but she was in second grade and she wasn't allowed to be until they told me, you know, until they told me. No, they only they have to be in third grade and up in order to come to program after program to the Ciudad Nueva. And I was like, damn it. Bueno, I was like, okay, one more year, mija, you'll do it. Yes, keep working hard so you don't fail and you'll be here. So, yeah, uh, next year, I mean, it was registration. They, took, they called my sister and they told her, you know, if you want to register Louis again on middle school, blah, 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 you can come this day. And she's like, Alma, let's go. It's time for Elizabeth to, like, she can go in, like, you have to fill out the application and everything. I was like, okay, let's try it, you know, because I know they have a list. So I was like, yeah, let's go and try it. And then I came, I put her on the list, and she go in. And after that, like, she started coming in, you know. And then my son, he was little, Jose Luis, he was little, and he was like, he wanted to stay with Elizabeth in the program. I was like, no, no, you're not allowed in here, let's go. Let's just pick up your sister or drop up your sister. Sometimes they pick her up at school, but sometimes she will stay for touring or something. And I had to bring her to the program. And uh, he wanted to, he was crying. He was like, I want to stay with Lisbeth and I want to play with the kids. And I was like, no, you're not allowed in there. Not yet. So when Jose goes in, it happens the same thing. I feel all the paperwork and everything. He went to lunch back. And that's when I have like more extra time to figure out what else I can do to help, you know, Ciudad Nueva. Uh, because both of them were here, so I can just use my time, you know, to, to help the community or help Ciudad Nueva with anything that they needed. So yeah, I started helping like the teachers, you know, say, make like pictures or whatever, cutting paper or whatever they needed. And I would come and volunteer and then um, Tammy started showing up with uh, telling us, you know, that she wanted to do a co-op and that she has some food we can come and help her like sort, you know, the food and everything. And it was hard. At the beginning, it was really hard, like, because we didn't have, like, we used to have, like, six boxes and out of the six boxes, we only, the only good food was two, you know? And it was like, okay. And she's like, Alma, I have, like, ten people coming over, like, how are we going to do this? Of let's put like a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know, we used to try to make our best out of the two boxes and just give whatever we can to the community. And uh, we started like that, like volunteering. I started volunteering with Tammy, and Tammy was like, Alma, can we just go drop off these things? Like, can you help me do this other? Can we just go pick up donations? And I was like, sure, you know. I didn't have a lot of things to do, you know, and by the time the kids were in the program, I was able to help Tammy wish whatever she could, whatever she needed. And then uh, after like three months, I'm gonna say three months, uh, yeah, Tammy told me, oh, Sammy wants to talk to you. And I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I seen Sammy going around, you know, hugging and saying hi and everything, but I personally, like, I didn't know Sammy. Like, I was like, sure, I know he was the director, but I didn't really, like, talk to him that much because he speaks uh, English most of the time. So I was like, I was so scared because I, I'm going to speak to him. Like, I'm going to talk to Sammy, you know? And then I go in, you know, and then Bethany was there. I was like, okay, what did I do wrong? You know, you don't realize what they're going to tell you. I was thinking probably something went on. You know, but I was a volunteer, so don't blame me. You know, I didn't have nothing else to do. I'm just a volunteer. But uh, then they sit down and they ask me, we wanted to ask you something. Am I you willing to come and work for us? You know, and help Tammy with the co-op. And I was like, yes. 
I'll come and help you, of course, but you're gonna be higher. Like, you're gonna be working with us. And I was like, oh my God, I'm in trouble now. Because I was working with my dad, you know, I was trying to help him with the car wash. And I was like, and you're gonna pay, get paid for it. Like, you're gonna be able to get money out of this. And I'm like, I don't wanna get paid. Like, I was really thankful, you know, for whatever they were doing. I mean, they were taking care of my kids. They, they take him to camp. They make him laugh, you know. They, they just make him feel secure, you know. And, and I was like, no, but I don't want to get paid. I mean, I'm so thankful for everything that you're doing for my kids. I don't want to get paid. Like, I'm okay with it. I can come and volunteer whenever you need me. But don't, I don't want to be, like, get paid, you know. I'm okay with it. And she, they were like, no, you need to get paid for it. And I was like. Okay, it was hard, um, not hard decision, but it's yes, hard for me to make a decision because I was used to help my dad most of the time. And I was working with my dad for 10 years. And my twin sister, she was working with him for 15 and she gave up and she was like, okay, dad, I'm leaving. Like I really need, need to be making more money for my kids, for my family. And this is not helping me, you know, because he's, he's, he's only part time. So yeah, the beginning was like, sure, I'll come and work with you, but you don't have to pay. No, they were like, no, 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 it's okay. You're gonna get paid for it, it's fine. And then I started working and I started getting more involved and getting more like information or where they were getting the donations and trying to figure out everything that was going on because now it's not only volunteering, it's like being part of the Nueva team and it was like, wow this is amazing i love the place i love the people i love everything it was just my kids still ask me jose still ask me mom how are you getting into a nueva how you really got in there like you think about it like have you think before like you go back and you think say did you expect this and i was like never like never think that this was gonna change my life like because you were focused, you know, on doing always the same thing. You know, you're just trying to get your kids to school and work with your dad and be part of the community and be volunteering, you know, that's it. But never be a part of uh, Ciudad Nueva and work for Ciudad Nueva. I n never think I was going to do this. And, and to me, it just changed my life forever. I mean, I love being here. I love the people. I just love working for the community. So 